Today I experienced a truly courageous example of leadership and authenticity. I was having a meeting in a public place with a leader. He is very sociable, warm, and using his own words, he's known as a joker. And a kind of person who is generous, helping others, um, always with a smile. And he used to be, you know, in a good size because he loves food, but he lost a lot of weight recently. And as we were sitting and having a conversation, one of his uh, acquaintances came up and asked how he was and said, oh, you lost a little weight. And he said, he replied, yes, it's because I got a depression and then I tried to hang myself. So I lost my ability to eat. And um, the way he said it was in such a grounded, calm way that of course she was touched, but it was not in any kind of intimidating way. Because he, he's really accepted what happened to him. He's really, um, in terms of what he felt and who he is and what he did to himself. And he's happy, happy to be alive today. So what I find so incredibly authentic and courageous is well, of course, it's brave there and courageous that he speaks about it and he shares about shares it. But what is so impressive is his own relationship with himself that grew from being completely armored up with a happy face, not even being aware of what was going on inside himself. He told me this came unexpectedly and momentarily because he had no idea about what was going on inside him. And today he is so acceptant of what is going on within him. I, I imagine and I think most of us know what it feels like to be in an environment and in a state of mind where we feel we cannot really share or be in touch with what's going on inside us. And it's alarmingly unhealthy, you know, not because I think that you or I would try to kill ourselves for that reason, like the extreme example in this story, but it's, you know how deteriorating and stressful and depressing it is? And also from like from a company perspective, from an organizational perspective, it really kills energy and creativity and growth. So it doesn't mean like authenticity doesn't mean that you have to share and speak up and tell everybody about how you're feeling, but authenticity is about knowing what really goes on inside you and then being aware of it. And then you can share it whenever it makes sense. Thank you.